wind noise. This is Jay Todd coming to you from the fabulous Fremont District in Las Vegas. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by On Tilt Radio, the number one ranked poker radio website and the only true poker radio social network with more original programming and syndicated content than anyone. Visit ontiltradio.com. Hello, friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, a Sagittarian who likes walks on the beach, warm caramel macchiatos, and snuggling by the campfire. Yeah. On this show, we've got Vegas entertainment news plus an update on when legal online poker could go live in the state of Nevada. But first, this week's big story. As rumored and reported months ago, Poker Stars has reached a deal with the U.S. Department of Justice to purchase Full Tilt Poker, or what's left of it, and yes, the players are going to get paid. Poker Stars will reportedly pay about $550 million over the next three years in order to settle all the legal and player issues. What makes this deal even sweeter? is that criminal actions will continue against Full Tilt's founder, Ray Batar, and civil actions will continue against Batar, Howard Lederer, and Chris Ferguson. And as all of this is going down, another rumor circulating has it that legal, regulated online poker in the state of Nevada will be up and running sooner rather than later, as in perhaps just two or three months from now. Think about it. If you're an online poker player living in Nevada, you could conceivably get your money back from Full Tilt and then put it into a legitimate poker room in the state online. Wouldn't that be a sweet early Christmas present? Okay, big first half. We're going to take our obligatory break in the program right chair. But when we come back, Vegas Entertainment News plus an interview about an online casino where you could get a lot of bonus money on your deposit, so you ain't going to want to miss that. Follow, comment, and repin our gambling articles and videos. Visit Pinterest.com slash twigpins. Comedian Jerry Seinfeld will be heading back to Las Vegas this December, playing two nights at Caesars Palace just after Christmas. So if uh, any of you are considering perhaps a, uh, a gift for the holidays for me, nothing says I love you like two front row seats. That would be uh, real and nice. Also, if you haven't driven past the Las Vegas Hilton lately, you may be in for a bit of a surprise. It's not there anymore. Now, it didn't get imploded or anything. They they just did a name change. The Hilton is now known simply as the Las Vegas Hotel. Yeah, the Las Vegas Hotel. Kudos to the marketing department there. 
Okay, we all know that online gambling and land-based gambling are kind of in this process of growing together. However, each still currently has distinct advantages. Online casinos are currently able to offer big bonuses and cash back. So, if that sounds interesting to you, you're going to want to pay attention to our interview with Euro Partners, an interview you won't see anywhere else. Hey everyone, Jay Todd here on the floor of the iGaming Super Show where I've caught up with Robin Becker who represents several of the largest Playtech casinos on the web including Titan Casino and Casino Trope, the flagship of the uh, Playtech brand. Um, we got play players out there watching this, maybe they want to come play, try the Playtech software. We first of all have to preempt this by saying you cannot play from the United States. Always abide by your local, federal, and state laws con concerning online gambling. Yes, it is. Um, so, it's but, unfortunate, but, <laughs> but you know, I mean, but but players hopefully soon in the U.S. it's going to turn around, and maybe there's coming a day where they can play at one of your sites. That would be amazing, and we're really looking forward to that day. Yeah, me too. You know, <laughs> uh, it's prohibition never works, but no, it doesn't. okay. Well, <laughs> your your flagship brand, a Casino Trope, is running some specials right now for non-U.S. players. Can you tell us about those? Well, we recently relaunched Casino Trope. We redesigned the whole entire site. It's looking amazing. Um, and we made up a new kind of um, return bet, basically. So if you bet and you lose, we'll give you 50% of your money back. Which is, Wow. Yeah, I think that's pretty good because, you know, hey, who doesn't want to try and play? And if you lose, you still may get your money back. So. Margins are small in casinos. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, and um, we're hoping that all our players really enjoy it, and we bring in some new players who can try out the casino, see if they like it. And, you know, it's very risk, well, I wouldn't say risk-free, but it's low risk. Right. Well, that that is an amazing offer right there, but you have another amazing offer going on right now at Titan. Is that true with yeah. a, a bonus offer? Oh, well, we figured why not, you know, make Titan have the biggest uh first deposit offer in the industry. We're offering $5,000 first deposit. $5,000? $5,000. It's the largest. And... I don't make $5,000 in a year. Oh, let's not go there. <laughs> um, so we're hoping that our players really want to come in, you know, try it out, make some extra cash, you know, you're going to get a great deposit. So I, I may move to Canada just to play. That'd be cool. <laughs> but, you know, we'd miss you in the U.S. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Okay, well, thank you so much. Again, uh, that's uh, that's Playtech Brands, uh, Titan Casino, and uh, Casino Trope. Uh, and uh, they're celebrating their 10-year anniversary, uh, Casino Trope is. Casino Trope. Yeah, and uh, it's great stuff. Non-U.S. players, get over there and try out a $5,000 bonus, 50% cash back. Cows are dumb. That's why we eat them.